Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to um, a video game of some kind, Apocalypse of Furrows. So today I'm checking out Deadly Echoes. That doesn't even tell me what region it's from. It broke the pattern. How cruel. Well, it's also important. Oh, wow. This even looks different from anything I've experienced before. I like it. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Woo! Remember kids, breaking patterns is important, but only if you understand why the pattern exists. I cannot turn back. Back when I helped run a live-action role-playing game. Oh, uh, teleporting needle. Anyway, back when I helped run a live-action role-playing game, we had, you know, rules for allowing players to throw events. You know, like sessions of a tabletop RPG. Oh, wow, that bat. That bat is terrible. Anyway, everyone wanted to break all the rules all the time, but didn't demonstrate sufficient knowledge of the rules to, you know, break them because the reasons they wanted to break the rules were, uh, well, they couldn't articulate it, for one thing, and the impact that breaking the rules was in the way they wanted to break the rules was going to be negative. So, you know, I'd tell them this, and they'd fight me on it, and then they'd have a bad time at their event because, you know, the impact of what they were trying to do was negative. And somehow this became my fault. Needless to say, I kind of got burned out on that. Oh, hey, look at those. I, I'm i not totally certain. I think those little grub things are from Wario Land? Wait, where'd the fish go? Oh, okay. Where'd the fish go? Where'd the fish... Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry, not willing to risk hitting a fish when I'm small. Oh! I love these enemies. I have never fully understood what they were, but... Oh no. I think I was... Well, here goes nothing. Okay. Oh hey, I think this is music from uh, Sonic Heroes. Yeah. I actually kind of enjoyed that game. It, it, it wasn't great, but it was enjoyable. Huh. How far back can I go with this? Oh no, I didn't leave enough stuff on the floor. Ooh. There's no way back out, though. Oh good, a midpoint. Just before a switch hunt. Anyway, those of you that play RPGs, surely know that lots of RPGs have damage types, like, you know, oh, this spell does fire damage, or this Pokemon attack does dragon-type damage, right? The, the, the live-action game that I was part of didn't have damage types because, uh, we felt that was too much to try and keep track of, or to ask players to keep track of in the middle of battle. One guy who wanted to throw an event without really, you know, paying darn, without really paying enough attention to what the, e even the basic rules of the game were, let alone the rules for throwing, good job me, for events were, he insisted that we did in fact have all kinds of damage types, like, the, the game that we uh, split off from had a series of damage types, but you know, th they were literally just the name of the uh, gr group of spells that a spell came from. So, you know, a fire, a fire type spell 
would have pyromancy damage. What am I doing? Anyway. Yeah, we, we never had anything. What the? I thought that that was a safe spot. I am bad at avoiding circles of things. Anyway, yeah. He just absolutely insisted that we... Not not that we should include these types of things, but that we already had the... That ghost is in a bad place. For me, I mean. I mean, it might be in a fine place emotionally, but it's in a bad place for me. And as the most important person in the universe, I'm the only one who matters. Okay, okay, so. Ha! Okay. Okay. I should have brought the spring with me. Oh, hey. I just realized that I forgot to mute something. Let me mute that. Alright, so, what happens if I turn back here? Ha, ah, ghost houses. I like that ghost with the suit. Is this a wraparound segment? Good thing I got fire to find this out. Okay, okay, yes. It is a wraparound segment. Oh my. Oh, good job, me. Oh, I was supposed to descend? Oh my. I like how this has a similar shape to an area I experienced before, but uh... Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay, so... This has the same shape as a room I experienced before, but it's very different in content. I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> I also like that that bomb exists to tell me- oh. To tell me that, hey, oh no, oh no! Why? Why would you do this to me? I, I want to bring that enemy up so I can stand on it and use it to ascend. Ha! Ooh! That was scary. All right, now to go for the secret star. I, I like how this starts as some outdoorsy place with a new aesthetic, and then as you go on, it turns into a ghost house. Anyway, I forgot to check and see if there was a hidden block here. All right, so... Right, right, the only thing here is a dragon coin. Oh my. Ah! Woo! Good job. I hate those bats. They are too dark for the background that I am presented. Whoa! I just keep getting super lucky. Anyway, the reason I was trying to bring the springboard back was I wanted to check out these pipes. But I couldn't escape the ghost house. And so I am just left to assume that those pipes are, you know, devoid of any way. Oh, okay. No, oh, I see. So the wood there in the previous, in the section, in the segment two sections previous, that wood is uh, the roof of the ghost house. Clever. Clever. Hello, squid monster. 
Great toss, Mario. Yeah, I'm not gonna have that. No! Fish terrifying me from off screen while I'm trying to do this thing. So, am I even in the same place as before? I guess I am. Alright, yeah, th there's no pipe or door here. I like that those chandeliers are introduced early on into the level. It makes me happy. HA! Oh, hello kitty. Please do not touch my keyboard. I almost feel like... I should be able to uh, descend there and go outside of normal space, but that's the problem with stuff like this, where the blocks are invisible or off. No! No! Where the blocks are invisible or off the screen. I was trying to dodge. The horrible, horrible. Ah, oh, cat, stop tickling my foot! I was trying to dodge those little chandelier fireballs and instead wound up a. Uh... Ah, stupid bat! I hate them! Ow! 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 Cat! No. Do not do that to my foot. I hate those bats. They are too dark for the background. It Maybe if I tilt the screen, it'll be more visible? No, I mean, tilting the screen just so ha- OW! When I get home from work these days, since I'm on my feet all day, I like to have my shoes off. This cat is thinking of my toes or anything. Oh, right. Take that, fish. I know where you are. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I feel like I should be able to go down below here. And then escape to a realm hitherto unexplored, but looking up and around, where would I even be? Darn it! <sighs> I keep dying to obstacles I have already overcome. Why? I blame bats. Hey bats, I can see you now because I've tilted the screen, which exposes it di to me differently, which exposes the light to me differently. Yay. Now the bats aren't such a huge problem. So, yeah, that is a thing, where sometimes the difficulty is based on a... Not so, it's not really something that the level's designer can control. The brightness settings on my screen. Uh, I remember I used to play Sonic Adventure 2. I don't anymore because the system that I played it on is no longer physically functional. Anyway, what was I saying about Sonic Adventure 2? It existed. This is a fact. Anyway, anyway. Fighting... You're getting the ending, right? Like, the, the true ending, where everyone teams up together. Like, for I, I played on an old TV, which is the, where the relevance comes up, something that cannot be controlled by the designers. 
and like the voice work, I, I could hear it just fine up until the ending when there were no subtitles. And then suddenly, uh, oh no. And then suddenly the voice work just became horrible and just like horrifyingly distorted. Like, I, I could not hear Tails' final line because it was just horribly distorted, and there are no subtitles for that segment. The one time I needed them. And I imagine that people who were, you know, hard of hearing or completely deaf were also upset at being unable to understand the ending. Video games, this is a problem you already solved decades ago why did you start start suddenly introducing it you saw it was solved because you couldn't do voices at least not easily at first and, and then suddenly you introduce a problem that didn't need to exist why video games why Okay, so... Okay, okay. I'm going to try and leave coins around so that I can, you know, see where I'm going. Alright. Well, mostly I'm just frustrated because I keep dying in the same place to a puzzle I already solved. I mean, seriously. This isn't hard. Like, at all. And yet, somehow, I died to it over and over and over. Like, according to my life counter, I died, what, three times to it? How did that even happen? Alright. No! Curses. Alright, and then hook around this way. You know, I'm gonna bring you down over here. Ha! Yeah, take that, ghost. Alright. Good job, me! I didn't descend as far as I had intended to there. I wish this level had more power-ups. Anyway, I want to bring this with me into the future. If I can. I can- I cannot! So, anywho... Ah, I'm getting a text message. Let's see if it's important. Okay, so... Wait, it is... Ah! Okay, okay, this is, in fact, a different room from the one that I return to later on. Okay, okay, so... There. D did I just loop around? I just looped around! Why would you do this to me? Yeah. And I can't bring the springboard with me. Okay, so I cannot return through here. Oh. Huh. So now the question becomes. Is the secret exit even in the part after the midpoint? Oh, 
Alright, so... Oh no! Oh no! This sucks. I forgot to bring that ghost out of the way. Okay, okay, so... Yes. Yes! Okay. Okay, now hook around to the right. Ha! Okay, okay. So! And then I can't turn back here, so... Okay. Okay, and then I'll descend through here. Is the secret exit even in this area of the game? And I could go try going up into one of those pipes that tosses bombs around. It would not be easy, but it would be possible. All right, I don't need to worry about bombs ruining my day by falling on my head. Right? Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. As far as I can tell, the uh, secret exit is not in the second half. So... I'm just going to go grab a favored power-up. I still love that it's a blarg just giving me these. Well, a painting of a blarg. Was that room shaped like a giant one? I can't believe I didn't notice that until now. Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe that's why I didn't notice it. Or maybe it was, and I'm just bad at noticing things. Okay, so... Deadly Echoes. Ha! Oh, that was actually luck. Ah! I, I was trying to do a spin jump while holding the alt run button to run while spinning and that just so happened to be the tanuki form button. Okay, okay, so these pipes are suspicious to me. So I need to clear out the enemies here so I can get a good running start. Hey bat, come here, I need to clear you out. Okay, okay. Curses. Oh, what? Oh, hey, hey, come here, bat. Come here. Come here. Get. I th maybe I'm supposed to jump off a bat to get this to work. Hey, you, bat, come here. Curses. I didn't get enough actual running done there. Okay, okay, so. Yes. Not this pipe. How about this one? Nope. Not the pipes. Hmm. Is there a secret door here? No. I mean, at this point, it almost feels like I want to cheat it. Just cheat it. Okay, 
in order to, you know, get around faster and figure out what's even up. Like, is there some secret up here? Oh no. Oh no. I'm stuck. Okay, okay, so. Gently tapping to the side with my controller to the right side. When doing wraparounds, always include blocks one block off screen to the side so this does not happen. Yeah, yeah, fine. Time for a Super Mario Brothers X 2.0 cheat code. Uh huh. Well, that was unpleasant. Oh, no, oh, this will provide you a leaf if you enter powered up. Anyway. In Super Mario Bros. X 2.0, they introduced a few new cheat codes, including suicide. Which reminds me, letting it is cool. There we go. All right. So. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Oof. That was scary. Pie for door here. No. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'm not going to question the fact that I defeated that enemy without getting hurt. Okay, so. Okay, so yeah, you can just jump on those at any time at all. Okay, so... thinking that there's some kind of secret down here. I was right. Oh, what? What? That, that was it? Okay. Okay. Well, that was a lot of extra effort that I put in for basically no reason when my I should have just trusted my gut instinct. Well, join me next time as I uh, travel over here. Yeah, Winter Wonderlands. See you then.